Hi everyone, welcome back. Notice anything different? Yeah. Totally not me. Obviously. There's a reason I put this on to show you. Many of you know I have um, back problems and all that. And my one doctor last year retired and set me up with another guy in his practice. And when the guy, the second doctor, you know, I made an appointment, initially met me, I had blue and purple hair at the time. And as soon as he came in, I got the look of, looked me up and down like I am some drug addict. And proceeded to tell me he is not going to take me out as a patient. And 86 me from the practice. Okay. I called for my records so I could bring them to my next doctor that I find. And that doctor had the audacity to write in the report, first thing, patient has blue and purple hair. Well, you know me, I called, of course, the medical corporation's corporate office, told them to pull up the report and asked, what does the color of my hair have anything to do with the 10 years of paperwork backing up shoulder surgeries, back injuries, all this? And they said absolutely nothing. So my general doctor was luckily filling my prescriptions for me. She sent me to another place in another town, a little farther out. And I always had a bad vibe about the place and even them. Just the way they looked at me, very judgmental, after four appointments, still wouldn't give me just, you know, a cortisone shot for my shoulder, anything. So I 86 that company. Just went to my regular doctor recently and she gave me a new um, doctor to see. Now he's here in my town of Bristol. And I said, and I laughed with her because she's actually kind of a neighbor of mine. She lives kind of way down the street. I said, well, guess I better go buy a wig. She looks at me. I go, I'm getting sick of being judged on, you know, just because my hair color is fun. She goes, oh, Brenda, it's not your hair, it's your mouth. I'm like, what? Because I'm honest? I said, I have legitimate paperwork backing up my injuries. So, needless to say, I went on Amazon, spent a whole whopping $12, <laughs> and got this wig, which is semi-close to possibly my real hair color. I'm not sure. Because my real hair, my, you know, my eyebrows are my hair color so it is very dark oh you can bet your butt I wore this to the new doctors guy treated me completely nice I have no idea if he knows it was a wig I'm pretty sure most of the girls in the office had no clue I mean I had it a little more perfect than it is right now by the time I was done with this guy he was asking me if I wanted cortisone shots how I was on my medication and I'm gonna start some physical therapy because I'm willing to try anything and this is because I guess I'm locked up from my hips to my lower back, like really locked. And even he couldn't believe how locked up I was. And the funniest thing at the appointment is, you know, this is a back guy, a physiatrist for pain and things like that. So he's, you know, hold on to my back to feel my back and he needs me to bend over. And all I'm thinking as I'm bending forward is, please don't let the wig fall off. <laughs> please don't let the wig fall off. And luckily it didn't. But, you know, that is not me. So, Dr. Boy, when I go see him in February, because I'm going to start physical therapy in January, he's getting this. And if he freaks out or looks at me strange, I'm just going to tell him at that point, I don't know, midlife crisis, I had a nervous breakdown. Or I might just be like, I'm a beauty blogger, deal with it. You know, but it, it's going to be funny to see his face of to go from just the boring brown hair which even Greg laughed when I came in the house with the wig on. He goes, oh my God, I would walk right by you. It, you are so paled out by it. Wow, that hair color is not you. And I'm like, no, it's not. My hair's still wet, sorry. So it's just a little let you know of, I know I'm judged on how I look, but I don't care. But I just need a doctor. So if I have to play a game and wear a stupid wig to get me a doctor that can help me with my pain, going on up there then that's what I got to do but just if any of you ladies are having the same situations pick up a wig on Amazon for like 12 13 bucks because I was laughing when I paid 12 dollars for it I'm like if it looks fake then I'm just not gonna wear it but this is actually a really nice wig for 12 bucks yeah it's very nice it's very smooth I had to just you know from being in the package I had to just blow out a little bit of the sides here to make them flap but other than that game over. So hopefully I'll let you know what happens with the new doctor here eventually. 
But I just wanted to let you in on that of, we are judged on how we look, even though you're not supposed to do that, and especially doctors shouldn't do that. What does my hair color have to do with legitimate shoulder surgeries, back problems? It just makes no sense. But that's life, but I'll play the game. Why not? All right, everyone have a fabulous day. I got a bunch of filming for you, and we're going to have some fun. All right, I'll see you all soon. Bye.